I'm just going to read a short thing here so I don't get hung. Uh, uh, this was in response to questions I had on my Facebook on whether I will attend Occupy Vancouver. Louder? Yeah! Okay, this was in response to questions. Is that okay? Yeah! yeah I did, I'm gone. Uh, th this was in response to questions as to whether I will attend Occupy Vancouver. Goddamn rights I am. <laughs> we, meter readers, have had a 1%, I'm not speaking as uh, for a union or I'm just speaking as a citizen. We, I'm a meter reader for Hydro. We, meter readers, have had a 1% wage increase once see. in 10 years. While the cost of living for all goods and services have risen yearly, and I'm in a union, for God's sake. This is what's going on, the downward pressure on wages and benefits in this world. Plus, 400 of us will be fired in about a year, replaced by smart meters. I don't mind being replaced by technology as much as I abhor how it was done. Before this billion dollar expense by Hydro of taxpayers' money, if Hydro embarked on a project over 50 million bucks, it had to go through due process first. BC Utilities Commission hearings, public consultation, etc. Before he left, Gordo Campbell passed a law exempting smart meters from due process. That's a billion dollar expense just jammed through. <clears throat> there are lots of concerns about these meters, safety and otherwise. Sleazy move. It's typical of global, global corporate power dominating world gov governments in escalating fashion since the 70s. All they need is puppets like Campbell who will give them whatever they want. Now Harper appoints him High Commissioner to London where he can sell off Canada like there's no tomorrow. It, it's the first time the position has not gone to a career diplomat. It's also morally corrupt. It's a bad joke. So I love that these brave kids in New York have started this movement. The consensus among the best. The consensus among the best and the brightest that I have read is that the only thing that has a chance to create change to the last 30 years of madness, globalization, excessive deregulation, jobs farmed out to cheap labor in India or wherever, profitable plants closed down all over America and Canada, leaving generations of loyal workers unemployed, <coughs> unemployed, massive downward pressure on benefits and wages, etc. And the only thing that is going to work is through massive civil protest, massive civil such as this, and special civil disobedience. That's what it took to end the Vietnam War and the civil rights movement of the 60s was fueled by non-violent public protest. <laughs> Meanwhile, the corporations are making record profits. The excessive deregulation started by Reagan and Thatcher, the chief culprit that led to the meltdown and the condition the world is in now, was about one thing pure, unbridled corporate greed. Do you remember the promise of the trickle-down theory? If you let us corporations police ourselves, meaning deregulate us, it will create huge growth in economic activity and all that prosperity will trickle down in the form of jobs. Yeah, eight buck an hour jobs. The only thing that trickled down was the tears of the workers as jobs disappeared overseas. It was a purposeful lie then, and all the right-wing talk since has also been lies. This movement will express many things. We are not to get ourselves pigeonholed by one thing. So many things need to change. As Naomi Klein, the author of The Shock Doctrine, The Rise of Disaster Capitalism, said last week from the streets of New York, our system is crashing economically and ecologically. Let's hear more speakers and let's enjoy this coming together of people who know it's broken. We need substantive change. Maybe let's start with re-regulation of Wall Street, not deregulation, which has proved to be a disaster. Thank you.